Right. Lycurgus like Cup. Were the Romans nanotechnology pioneers? In here, they actually consider that they did know what they were doing. But in all the official stories of this, usually, they say it was just an accident. And, um, they've uh, sort of synthesised a version of it so they can test out its properties for themselves. Because it says, since the researchers couldn't put liquid into the precious artefact itself, they instead imprinted billions of tiny wells onto a plastic plate about the size of a postage stamp and sprayed the wells with gold and silver nanoparticles, essentially creating an array with billions of ultra-miniature ultra like Ergus cups. When water, oil, sugar solutions and salt solutions are poured into the wells, for example, they displayed a range of easy to distinguish colours. Light green for water and red for oil. For example, the prototype was a hundred times more sensitive to altered levels of salt in solution than current commercial sensors testing using similar techniques. So, right, that's like Ergage's cup, and we're back engineering how they did that to give us nanotechnology now. Of course, they didn't have nanotechnology, it was just a fluke. So, we're back engineering a fluke. Don't think so, yeah. And then the Great Pyramids come out this week with the electromagnetic energy in its chambers and it's going to be um, important for nanoparticle research in the future.